Hey guys, Rusty Myers here, and dude, I was just watching TV, waiting for, you know, Dog the Bounty Hunter to come back on, and I saw breaking news that Michael Avenatti, you know, that lawyer for Stormy Daniels, the one that make all these accusations against Trump, you know, got arrested for, like, cheating people out of money. You know, it's always the people that live in glass houses that throw the most rocks, you know. So, the point is, you know, he's going to go to prison for, like, 50 years, and I'm just going to put it like this. He's going to have some trouble in there. You know, he's got a nice, smooth face. You know, you know, women voted. When he was trashing Trump, all these, you know, liberals like, oh, he's got the most kissable lips. You know, that's not going to help him now to be voted the most kissable lips in prison. That's not going to go as planned, I'm, assur I'm sure. But maybe the best thing that ever happened to him, you know, was representing Stormy Daniel. Because I know that she had to teach him a few things to help him stay safe or just popular, you know, in prison. You know, it's definitely, she probably taught him some things, you know, that's worth a couple of bags of chips. You know, maybe if he's lucky, he'll have some friends in there. Maybe he'll go to the same prison as Bill Cosby. That'd be amazing. You know, uh, Michael Avenatti, he'd be like, basically the main course. You know, and course Cosby would be, you know, dessert. Because everybody loves pudding. Whether you're in prison or on the streets, pudding's amazing, especially if you just had your salad tossed. You know, I read that, you know, on The Blaze. Uh, Glenn Beck wrote in his book that, you know, if you're going to have your salad tossed, you know, you should definitely have dessert afterwards. And I agree with that. But the thing is, guys, you know she that uh, you know Stormy Daniel taught him a lot of stuff. I mean, all kinds of things like a butterfly kiss, upside down birthday cake, you know, snow sled, you know, ditch diving, you know, dribbling, pearl necklace, all that stuff. So some of that's going to come, you know, in handy. You know, plus he did, if you guys remember, he represented that person that sued Olive Garden. You know, so definitely he, they might just call him Olive Garden in there. He'll be in cell three and they'll be like, hey, what should we do tonight? Go on, go on, go on there to Olive Garden, you know, because I'm telling you something, it's going to be free salads and breadsticks, tossing salads. You know, you might not have your choice of dressings in there, but it's going to be a lot of free salads. So he should thank, you know, Trump for making him famous and he should thank Thanks, Stormy Daniel, because you know she taught him a lot of valuable things that men in prison want, or men in general want, you know? So, some people say, well, is don't you feel bad for him? No. He stole, like, what is it, like $20 million from somebody? And the people are like, oh, somebody working with him was from CNN. Well, that's not a big surprise. You know, you've got Jesse Smullett, you know, you've got Michael Avenatti, you know, they're just kind of like Batman and Robin, for liberals, but we all know that Batman and Robin, what they did, you know, when the cameras went off, you know, and we all know what the bam, Sam, blam, all those little, you know, animated things on the show meant, and those things don't mean good things in prison.